Hi, it's John. Now on Channel 4 they have these programs all about people living on benefit. Too fat to work. 27 children and on benefit. Um, benefit Street. All, all things like this. I find them quite fascinating. Anyway, last night I was watching one and there was three people on benefit living in a house and for some reason they didn't pay their rent and they had to be called into court on several occasions and um, to explain themselves why they why they were in uh, debt to their landlord for about five thousand pounds or eleven thousand pounds quite a lot of money I bet, you know I don't know why they had but uh, anyway the court told them that they had to um, do a budget and explain where they were spending all their money and of course this was a foreign language to them and uh, they went to the Citizens Advice Bureau, the uh, CAB, and um, of course the Citizens Advice Bureau wanted all the figures for them to, to work it out, to work their budget out. And of course they couldn't supply any figures because they just didn't live like that. And um, eventually they did, they got evicted and they got put into bread and, bread and breakfast, which probably cost a lot more than, um, than actually uh, the council paying the rent on the house or the social services paying the rent on the uh, on the house which was about 700 five or seven hundred pound a month something like that anyway my point is that the world is is getting the world is so complicated I mean I've never done a household budget I'm not that sort of person uh, but why why do, why do why do we have to have a world that's getting so much more complicated all the time? The forms you have to fill in, you know, self-assessment tax, lots of questions. What you haven't got a clue what the answer is, and um, you know these things happen to us without uh, the the population being consulted and no bill going through Parliament. A lot of people don't don't know what a computer is, they don't know how to use a computer and they say oh well there's no excuse for that, there's plenty of free courses, well I don't want to do a free course you know, well, I'm not saying it's me but just hypothetically it, um, these things are sort of thrust upon upon the population like um, was the population consulted when, when it was decided we should be a multicultural society um, was the population consulted when um, we, we, were, we were going into the European uh, Union, uh, Maastricht and all that? No, we weren't. We voted on the common market, but that was a different thing. Uh, we were never consulted about going into the European Union. We've never been consulted about the Euro. Um, thank goodness we're not in it. Uh, and, and I think Gradually, people have become alienated, a lot of people have become alienated from society because it's so complicated and they find themselves out on the fringes. Um, and, uh, and, and I think that's why a lot of people, they do want to be um, preppers and go out and live out in the woods. And when I was a little kid, I wanted to go and live out in the woods because I, I just didn't feel part of the, the world. I mean, I do feel it part of the world now because I've uh, I've uh, assimilated to it. But um, I think a lot of this prepping is about people who are feel alienated and those people who um, do all those gun shootings at schools in America. It's a dangerous thing to get too many people alienated on the fringes of society. You know, you've got to keep people in, else uh, else you'll get too many rebels and too many too many um, sort of people doing strange things. Right, bye for now.